Join us as we find a place to stay in Burlington, Vermont in our truck camper. Currently we're in Montreal. We're outside of downtown. We've stayed up here for the last three nights. Last night we were at a truck stop and the two nights before that we were at different breweries. We decided we think we're gonna head south today, but first before we leave this area, we wanna play bowling at a local spot. We're at a spot called Laurenti Lanes. There's a handful of bowling places around here. Uh, we were just closest to this one. Kay and I have never been bowling together. We've talked about it a few times, but we've never been. So we're finally making it happen. Are you ready to lose? <laughs> That was really good. I think you only have one pin left. Nice. We just finished our third game, so that's it for today. And I won again. It was 132 to 125. We had a lot of fun. I think playing two games would have been enough. And I think at this point, we're going to start our drive down to Vermont. We don't know exactly where we're going to be staying tonight, but we decided that we want to check out downtown Burlington and see the Christmas decorations for that area. It's gonna be almost a two hour drive to Burlington. It is still raining and uh, it won't be that exciting. And it's actually a different route than uh, how we came up here. Here we are back in Vermont. We just got off the exit and we're in Burlington and we're gonna be staying at a brewery in a parking lot in Burlington today. There weren't any harvest hosts here. We called the brewery on the phone and we asked if we could get some beer and stay in the parking lot and the guy said yeah. So we're pretty excited that that worked out so well. We're going to foam brewing. It seems like the brewery is going to be in a good location. We're in like the little downtown area now. You can see there's nice uh, lights up ahead kind of. And we're right next to University of Vermont and I believe Champlain College. This is that nice street that they decorate with the shops. I think we're going to walk around this tomorrow. Since it's pretty dark and it's supposed to be nice and snowy tomorrow, this rain is supposed to turn to snow by 2 a.m. I think we read. We got a nice spot in the back of the lot. You can see it's still raining pretty good. And I think up here is like student college housing. This is the bar or brewery over here. I like these changing lights. A lot of these sound really good. I think I'm gonna get the digital versus analog, the one on the top left. Mine looks great. I haven't taken a sip yet, but hopefully it actually tastes like pineapple. How is yours? Mine's really good. I've been getting more into like mocktails or non-alcoholic drinks. And this is called the Unbridled Switchy and it's lime juice, ginger juice with apple cider vinegar and cane sugar. And it's really, really good. It sounds good. I'll have to try it. Oh, this is really good. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't think we're going to see any live music tonight, but I really like this wooden stage that they have. Cool, so we really like that brewery. I would definitely come back here. As you can see, I got a four pack to go. In the summer, it looks like they'd have a nice outdoor area to stay in, but it's still raining. There's some apartments over this way, and in the parking lot, there's like a row of trees, and we're basically just parked against the row of trees. It's 42.6 degrees outside and 53 inside, because we started the diesel heater when we came in. We've used the diesel heater for the last three nights and during the day for a good amount of it. And we still had a little bit more than a quarter of a tank left. So before we drove here, I filled it up. So we're all good now as far as fuel. And tonight for dinner, we're gonna be having some Brussels sprouts, some chicken and some salad that we had the other day. That looks good. The only thing we have left to do is add the cheese, but the direction said to add it once everything else was together. I really like these Brussels sprouts. Dinner is really good. I'm enjoying the combination. Do you think we're gonna get a knock on the door tonight or do you think we're gonna be fine? I really hope not because like the guy said we could park here. So I was yeah. actually just thinking about that. Like if someone knocked on our door, I would just be like, we have permission to stay here. But then like, would they believe us? Yeah, know. we can't prove it. Yeah. So we'll have to see, but I think we'll be good. Our dinner was really good. You can see we've changed now. Kate's already in bed. We've just been hanging out in here. It's 41 degrees outside and 64 degrees inside at this point. You can see we've got a window cracked and the fan going. We really hope it's going to turn to snow at some point during the night. We just checked the weather and it looks like around 4 a.m. it's supposed to turn to snow. So hopefully we'll be waking up to some snow in the morning. I think that's it for now. We're just going to like hang out in bed for a couple minutes before we try to head off to sleep. Good morning. It looks like there was a little bit of a dusting of snow, but it didn't get cold enough for there to really be a lot of snow because it definitely looks kind of wet and rainy still too. Good morning. Hello. I think it's like eight o'clock now. We're 
We're about to change and then head out soon to walk around Church Street and the area down that way. I was just looking on the map and all those over there are like private condos and one of them's for sale and it's 940,000. I think the development is called 200 Lake Street. Time to head out into the rain. Oh look, we have snow on the porch. <laughs> Again, we really liked the foam brewers, it's right here. They're not on Harvest Host, we just called before we even came here and asked if we could stay. We said we have a truck camper and they were like, sure, you can stay in the parking lot. So that worked out really well. Again, their beers were really good and I would definitely go back. We actually had to move back a spot because you can see this one on this side is yellow and you can only park there for 30 minutes. You do still have to pay for parking on the weekends and it's $1.50 an hour, so that's all we did. I don't think we'll be here that long. You can see our solar panel uh, has a good amount of snow on it. This is a nice little downtown park. It looks like they have some little Christmas shops up that way. I doubt they're open right now. So this was the downtown market and where they had it. You can see we missed it because we came on a Sunday and it was only open until four on Sunday. So it was closed hours before we got here. But it looks cute, kind of small, but it looks nice. I think I've only been here twice before. I think Kate's been here more than I have. Right here is the street that you can't drive on that has a lot of shops. I know there's one store here called the Outdoor Gear Supplier, at least that's what I think it's called. It's a pretty big outdoor gear store and I think they have a big section of used gear as well. This is basically the end of the walking street and I think I'm going to turn around and go up to the other end and this is City Hall right here. They really do have a lot of little shops and restaurants on this street. They have a bagel place over here and you can work here for $25 an hour. We'll have to get up close to that Christmas tree. It looks really nice from here. Here it is. It's actually called Outdoor Gear Exchange. Thank you. They really do have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of climbing stuff over here. A lot of bags. I think these down here are all used. So I think their used stuff is kind of mixed in. And here we are back to the car, and I think we're actually going to drive to the L.L. Bean store and check out the local food co-op. Got a couple more things we want to see here before we head out. One of them is the world's tallest filing cabinet. I think that's kind of outside of downtown. Another one is a local food co-op. And the last one is the statue called Whale's Tales. This is it. This is the world's tallest filing cabinet right here. I'm going to get out so we can show you a little bit better. I think this is kind of funny. I don't know why this is a thing. It's too bad we don't have our own sticker to add to this. I wonder how they made this. They probably had to like weld it in place. Well, this is kind of neat, kind of interesting. I don't know why they made it, but it is cool. And the co-op we want to check out is right across the street, right there. And there are a lot of signs like this at different businesses around here that say no overnight parking. So I wonder if it's like a problem around here because a lot of people try to camp in parking lots. Now she's trying one of the kombuchas she bought. And for lunch, we're just having eggs with our leftover Brussels sprouts and leftover vegetables that we had from the other day. Cheers. Lunch was good and easy, and I hear a train going by. And now we're gonna be heading to that whale tail statue. There's the train over there. Thank you for doing that. I think we're all set now. We actually decided to also stop at the Trader Joe's here in South Burlington and we got their mulled wine. I think it's called Glue Wine. If you watched our other video, you would have saw that we watched the Kara and Nate Christmas market video where they went to nine different Christmas markets in Europe over nine different days. And they had mulled wine at each one and we wanted to try it. So uh, it was cool that we got some here because they don't sell alcohol at the Trader Joe's in New York where we're from. Supposedly we're here, but I don't see the statues yet. And there's a Planet Fitness right near here, so that would be good if we were staying overnight to shower there. We moved parking spots, and I don't really think this is the best way to get to them. You can see them over that way. This is a FedEx building, and you can't park over there. But in the summertime, there is like a, a nice trail that goes from that parking lot all the way around and over. I guess I should have put on my different boots for this. There's more snow here than I thought. 
I almost just fell and that's the highway right here. And they're not too big. They're probably like 10 or 12 feet tall, but they are cool. You can see they have Christmas lights on them. Well, this is pretty cool to see and find. Uh, they're really not as big as I thought they were gonna be, but it's still neat. Uh, that's it for today. We're just gonna head home now. And as always, thanks for watching.